Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be doing a very brief stock analysis on Carnival Cruise Lines or CCL which has been a really hot topic here in the last few months with everything that's been going on. Here I'm taking a look at the stock on Yahoo Finance and we can see at the beginning of the year the stock uh, was trading at about $50 and it's traditionally in the past few years at least traded above $30 and then here uh, we can see it hit an all-time low of $7.80 which is absolutely mind-boggling. As you will find out in this video, I'm a huge bull for the cruise lines. I think they will go up to their prior highs. It may take two or three years, but I do think they are um, a good investment in my own opinion, but be sure to do your own research. Here we can see that their financials, their revenues for the last four years have steadily increased year over year and earnings have stayed relatively uh, steady, I'm sure, in 2020 uh, for at least the first two quarters. If not all four quarters, we're going to see negative earnings and a huge, huge drop in revenue as well. I wanted to also definitely take a look at a couple of points made by Bears on the Robinhood app by analysts at Morningstar. The first one is that the media is giving off a really negative perception of cruise lines right now, and a lot of that is warranted because the air is recirculated, uh, which can make uh, being on a cruise really, really bad in a time like this if people get sick on board. But uh, this is really bad for the images of the big cruise lines, and this will lead to a decrease in the number of people trying new cruise lines uh, that have never been on cruises before, and then will also lead to a decrease in repeat cruisers. So in turn, this will have a huge negative effect on revenues, but the brand image will uh, continue to get better and better over time. And this last point is saying that this uh, thing could last longer and that revenues and earnings could continue to uh, plummet for cruise lines if this uh, no sale order does continue. And I really do not expect it to. I think people are going to start cruising again in June and especially July and August. And once that does start again, I think that is going to be reflected in the stock prices. And then a couple of points I want to point out by a uh, bulls by an analyst at Morningstar as well is that if this thing recedes quickly, uh, when the vaccine is approved, is approved, and I don't know how quickly a vaccine is going to get out there, but regardless, people are going to want to start traveling again uh, as quickly as possible, and a lot of the governments around the world want travel to and tourism to get back to where it was. Uh, so it's really going to start again. Uh, cruises are going to start again this summer. And then also, you probably have heard about the rapidly decreasing fuel prices and cruise lines, one of their biggest um, costs is fuel. So with the fuel prices so low right now, I'm sure they're going to try and stock up as much as they can. As far as my personal stake in this goes, uh, I have 11 shares and unfortunately I did have, I can't even remember the exact number, but it was five, six, seven shares before any of this started. Uh, I bought those all above $30 and then I've bought uh, four or five shares since it was below $15. So it's really unfortunate that I didn't wait a little bit longer until I started investing in this, but I just couldn't help myself, I guess. The only thing I really wanted to take a look at here is the market cap you can see in the middle of the right hand column, which is just below 10 billion. And that's compared to about eight and a half billion right now for Royal Caribbean or uh, just three or four billion, I believe, for Norwegian cruise lines. So it's kind of important to note that Carnival uh, is the biggest by market cap right now. And in my opinion, the least likely to go out of business, although I think Royal Caribbean is very, very unlikely to go out of business as well. Another thing that is important and I don't think that many people know about is that Carnival actually has nine different cruise lines. And this is actually just a screenshot on Wikipedia, but you can be sure to verify it from any other site that you may wish. Carnival has cruise lines from all over the world, including Europe, uh, Central America, even all the way down in Australia. And these smaller cr cruise lines are partially why Carnival is so solid moving forward. Uh, worst case scenario, a few of these smaller cruise lines could go bankrupt, but overall, Carnival is still a really strong brand. Thank you so much for watching. I'm probably going to take a look at Norwegian and Royal Caribbean in an upcoming video, probably just coming up in the next couple of days. So subscribe to come check those out and come check out my channel for uh, a lot of other content. Thank you so much for watching.